This video is brought to you by Comedy Central, the nightly show with Larry Wilmore. Check it out. So the, so the first thing I want to start out with, man, is when did your love for video games start? What was that moment? Walk me through the moment where you was like, you know what? This is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Whether it's a game you played or something that you saw, whatever it is. What was the moment that told you that I was like, you know what? Like, I have to make games. Walk me through it. I think um, I think it was a, a night where I was at a friend's place and we were playing Final Fantasy VII for the first time. Final Fantasy right? VII, classic. And um, it was cutting to, it was cutting to one of the in-game cinematics. Mm. And by the end of the cinematic, it wasn't just me and my two friends playing the game. It was like, his mom was sitting down, his dad was sitting down, <laughs> his little sister was sitting down, and um, it just all of a sudden became this like experience that everybody wanted to be a part of, and I thought that was just the coolest thing in the world, and people were like, you know, I, I guess this is what like, Twitch streamers feel like now, right? People yeah. are watching you play, you're just like, you're trying to do your best, and I still, there's something so special about that game's chemistry that um, I think a lot of games today still haven't been able to pull off. It's just, it's something really, really special. And uh, it was a com it's like the combination between the story, the graphics, the characters, everything, um, the combat mechanics. You just, um, you just didn't want to put that game down, dude. You just, you just had yeah. to, you just had to keep playing. Yo, I'm gonna tell you, that was the first RPG I ever remember playing finishing ending and what brought me to final fantasy 7 was um the the fmv you know the full motion video yeah. when you watch yeah. it it's like yo th what what is this like like a yeah. movie like that was the first thing that brought me to it but then the second thing that brought me to it was the fact that i could change the names of the characters so right. to me i put my brother in there my girlfriend at the time and all this other stuff awesome. because i felt like every time i saw them talk when I saw a name that represented what I knew, I felt like I was right. talking to someone that I know, which held my interest on watching the whole game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it makes, perfect, the whole game. makes perfect sense. Yeah, because when you feel, because think about it. Like, if somebody uh, tell you about something, it could be exciting, but if somebody tell you something about somebody that you actually know, it's yeah. like, yo, what's going yeah. on? It, it just, it's a deeper engagement when it comes For to sure. that because it makes it more personal. As yeah. opposed to third person, you see yeah, what I'm saying? Absolutely. So absolutely. It, it, it's like it's like the saying that you know you don't know how it is to be affected by something until it affects you. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's kind of like yeah. that. So yeah, Final Fantasy VII was my joint too. So what I want to ask you in terms of uh, the brand new game uh, is Maestros of the Anthem. Like I, I want to make sure I'm saying yeah, that yeah, right. Yeah, you're Maestros right. Maestros of the Anthem. Yeah. Okay. So how did the uh, how was the concept born? Walk me through that. Uh, the concept came from really my, like, growing up as a kid and watching my mom teach piano. Wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I was like, man, I could not play an instrument if you put a gun in my head. There's just, there's, there's, <laughs> I'd be like, yo, just, just pull the trigger, man. I'm just like, I, there's no way I'm playing this song for you. And, um, I think when you've accepted the fact that you're probably never going to really pick up an instrument and be great at it, and if you see these people coming to your house not knowing anything about music, and in about after spending a few months with my mom playing Beatles songs, playing Stone songs, it just it blew my mind, mm. and um, that always stayed with me. So when I was starting to um, really get into writing and really get into game design. I really wanted to um, do something with music mm. and write a, write a story that made music ma as magical to me as it, as it was other people. Mm. And that was kind of that's kind of been the journey. Yeah. Wow, man, that's that's amazing how your mom inspired your love for gaming. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like that, that's yeah. And she actually it's her fault because she you know she bought me my first Nintendo. Wow. All, I, I I blame her for all of this. Wow, now that's amazing, man. Like, see, it's, see, it's, it's those, the reason why I ask questions like that is because it's those moments that are the defining moments of your life. 
Like, like you sure. like you know what I'm saying? And that's why For I ask sure. questions like that because I think those are the most important questions. Now, one of the things you said in your Kickstarter trailer that I, that I caught really quick was yeah. episodic RPG. Like you said, this yeah. is an episodic RPG. So what I want to ask you, is this an evolving story? Like a TV series with like new seasons, new characters, like new adventures? Yeah, like, we've got, what man, we we've got um, like to give you a rough idea of the amount of content we have, we, we have over five seasons written. Get right. the hell out of here, son. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, right now. I don't believe you, son. That's yeah. crazy. There is there is so much material for this game. Oh my and, god. Um, it's usually like, it doesn't usually happen that way, right? Usually you ramp up your writing team for sure a little early. Yeah. And um, really start building up a narrative. Yeah. But I've been writing this story, dude, for over 10 years. And what? never stopped. So we got, we got a lot of story to go through. Wow. And um, I'm, that's why I was so excited about taking on the episodic format because it follows television structure in, in a major, major way. Mm. And I think now we're all seeing just how damn good not only TV's getting, yeah. but how damn good episodic games are getting. Yeah, I'm just, big. I really, yeah. I really feel like it's, a, it's an evolving format and studios who are going to get in on episodic over the next couple of years are really going to help shape what episodic can be for players and i i don't think it's almost like it feels like the oculus in a way right you just yeah. don't, you just don't know yet what you can do with it um so wow. i'm just super excited about getting the chance to maybe get this first season out and see what see what we can do with with our episodes and and see um one what the community wants um i think that's something that's really cool with being an independent studio is you get to listen you get to listen to everyone who bought your game yeah and uh to hear what they what they think um and I, I i'm the kind of guy where i really believe we should listen to our fans and um really let them be a determining voice in terms of shaping some of the some of the content so that's another having that relationship gets me so fired up and uh it just makes you want to write more and make better games <laughs> well i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you this Keyword: Listen to your fans because you got yeah. a lot of assholes out there that just want to be like negative for the sake of being negative. Oh. They may not even care about your game and stuff like that. They just want to talk shit just to talk shit. Yeah. So always yeah. listen to your fans, people that actually give a damn about what you're doing because if you Absolutely. do something that they don't like, they're gonna give you constructive criticism and they always gonna show you that they're on your side. Even if you did something that you may, that they may not have liked, they will never leave you, they will never talk shit about you, they will always For be sure. there to support you and tell you, you know, what they think you could do better. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah, and absolutely. that's that nudge that you get, that that's that love nudge. I call it the love yeah. nudge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think yeah. that's important. Also, I think this is good uh one of the things that got me excited about when you mentioned episodic RPG, because I'm a huge fan of Walking Dead. And I love oh, the wolf sure. among us. Telltale is great. So my thing is like you know, with what they're doing with that world, and, and even with um, Quantum Break, from what I'm hearing, what they're trying to do with the TV and the game coming together and stuff, I think this is just a new way to deliver gaming entertainment, and I, I, I love it. So I can't wait to see how you guys pull this off. Now, the next thing I want to say is the graphics. The graphics actually look amazing, and they look unique, and it looks it look like I'm in a world, like, um, I wouldn't say something that I'm used to. I know a lot of times when you see RPG, you think about, you know, crystals and vibrant colors and these magical yeah. powers. But with this one right here, I think the art style and the animation and in design is what give it a unique look and a unique feel and twist from what I saw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I want to ask you is what engine or what are you guys using to power this game to achieve that? 